Young people from around the world are interested in studying in the U.S. due to the high standards of education there. If you want to study in a university in the U.S., you can apply for an M1 or FM1 visa, which involves three steps. Being accepted to a school college in the U.S., applying for a visa, and attending a visa interview. To begin the process, you should get admission in a U.S. school, college. Then the school should have sent you a form named I-20, duly filled out. The I-20 is a school's statement to the American government of your having submitted all the relevant paperwork and financial documents, and that the school has scrutinized your application and have accepted you for enrollment. If you are seeking admission to academic programs, you should begin contacting schools about one year ahead of starting your studies. There can be fierce competition to get admission to U.S. schools, particularly in prestigious institutions like Harvard and Stanford. Submit applications for different schools, especially the ones you feel you stand a good chance of getting admission. If you live outside the U.S., contact the U.S. consulate nearest to you. If you live in the U.S., you need to apply for a change of status to get a student visa. Once you locate your nearest consulate, get to know the procedures necessary for taking your application. With some consulates, you can just walk in and with others, you need a prior appointment. Then you must fill out your student visa application. If applying from your home country, you use the State Department form DS-160, which can be had from the U.S. State Department website. Once finished, just print out the barcode page. If you are in the U.S. presently, use the USCIS form I-539. You need to pay a visa fee and prepare the following documents. A valid passport, documents indicating that you will return to your own country, documents to show your academic credentials, documents to show that you can pay for your fees and living expenses, and two passport size photographs. If you come from your native country, follow up with the nearest U.S. consulate and arrange an interview. There will also be an interview at the airport as it is a crucial last step. After reviewing all your paperwork, he she will ask further questions to ensure that everything is in order and if not has the authority to send you back home. However, consulting an immigration attorney without delay can save you a lot of time and effort.